But um, yeah. Adam, do you think there will be a game that knocks out Under Hero as your favorite indie game of the year? Um, that's a good question, Kool Aid. I think there could be. I think we're kind of like. Um, good luck with the boss. <laughs> yeah, that's that's what I was thinking was was Silk Song. That might be the the game that I can think of off the top of my head. But with kind of like the Switch Directs have been a little bit quiet and the indie worlds have been good, but not like mind blowing. And they seem to be games that are, um, you know, coming out relatively soon to the Switch. So it, it's kind of hard to say what's right in the future. Um, there's like a few games that I've seen on Steam that I really, really think look great. And um, I made a list of like some of the top Steam games I'd want to see on the Switch. One is called like uh, Snakebird, which is kind of similar to this game in the fact that you are, it's very, very clean, very simple. This the, it's a puzzle game where you play as like this snake bird and it kind of looks like a, if you imagine a, like a, a long Tetris piece, it has four blocks on it, right? And you can move the snake that moves it into, the, into these different shapes and you have to kind of puzzle your way around a course to get like a goal and then get to an end. And like games like that, I think look really interesting. Um, one game I, I'd kind of love to see to come to the Switch, which I think is like a very long way out if it ever comes, is a, a game called Escape from Tarkov, which is kind of like a a new twist on the the looter shooter and kind of the um, the what do you call it the the battle royale genre. <clears throat> so you you kind of you like drop into a map into where well, you spawn into a map, you go around collect loot. And there are other players and there are like AI players in the map as well, which uh, they, they, um, which are all trying to kill you. And if they kill you, they can take your loot and they get out with it. So any loot that you take in, you have to escape with, otherwise you lose it. Uh, Contrarian says, oh, Disco Elysium is coming. That one is indie, right? Yeah, definitely. That's a game which um, has won so many awards uh, that, yeah, I, I guess it's definitely up there for being one of the top games. I don't necessarily if it's a game for me though because it's um I'm not really into like long longer RPGs but yeah I think I'm definitely going to check it out because it's such a big game coming to the Switch. Um the other one what what's the one I was just thinking was if uh, the Outer Wilds comes. You know the one that won the BAFTA. That's also like an indie game by I think Annapurna Interactive. That seems a bit more up my street but I think if we ever got a code for that we'd have to give it to John because it's uh, definitely more up John's alley than mine. Um but yeah other than that, Under, Under Hero was just one of those games where it, it it was unassuming, and I'd seen I think Jim Sterling play it like last year, and um, just thought it looked cool. Like I like the art style. That tends to be the the thing with with how I pick up games is like if they look nice, and I, I usually tend to play them. So I didn't really think much of it. I was like, oh yeah, it looks cool. I'll wait until it comes to Switch, and then it came to Switch, and I got a code for it. And then just started playing with it. And like the more and more I played, the more I was just like, wow, this game is like something else and something special. And um, yeah, it's, it's, I highly recommend it if, if you guys are looking for a, a relatively like decent length indie with some good writing, some humor, some interesting um, combat, then definitely check out Under Hero. But yeah, back to Hold Down. And yeah. We're gonna go and pick up our upgrades. Okay, but we ah, oh, we only have three. Hmm. Yeah, your review made me interested in Under Hero, especially since you compare it to, to yeah. In the combat sense, it's definitely like Paper Mario. It's like this real-time combat um, where yeah, you're doing attacks and you have to make sure you're doing it at the right time because if an enemy attacks you, you you kind of lose your stamina. What was the game that seemed to look like Paper Mario but with bugs? Bugs Fable? I don't know, I've never heard of that one. More slots, more shots. Now I think we're gonna save our points and keep going. So. Oh, I'm pressing ZR to fire. But yeah, I feel I feel like Paper Mario is, is getting like a resurgence in in I guess you know people being inspired by it or games taking like taking it as a as an inspiration. Because uh, like to be honest, I've never seen a paper I've never played a Paper Mario game, but 
I know like the Wii one was people were kind of iffy on and I know that people seem to really like the GameCube one and I guess now it, it's been long enough that, that people are, are like thinking okay I want to make my own version of it which for me is like what's great about indie games is that people you know can take something take a niche or take a gap in the market and be like um and be like yeah i'm gonna put my own twist on it like you see it all the time like obviously hollow knight is like a twist on like metrovanias and castlevania and then you have also you know uh, dead cells which you know, you could argue maybe modernize the Metroidvania. Okay, we got our extra ball. Didn't really do much of it though. Uh, and then yeah, then there are games like um, Divinity Original Sin, which have gone back and kind of taken us old school, hard, long uh, RPGs, and also been like, okay, no one's making these anymore. Let, let's let's make it and make it like you know probably one of the best RPGs out there. So it's cool what indie indie people can indie developers can do with games. So I only really Huh, why did that say I only had seven shots out of forty? Okay, can we maybe try and get this? Ah, uh, we didn't work, but we tried to get it stuck in the middle. We need to get rid of the six. Uh, a bit better than that though. Okay, we don't need to worry too much about this three. More about this tw this 23 looks a bit more problematic. Hmm. Okay, that's good. Perfect. Nice, nice. Oh, beautiful. So good. So we're, I feel like this is the best one we've had so far. I've been trying to focus on these um, these ones with the screws because obviously then everything else falls away. Go on, keep going, keep going, keep going. Oh yeah, oh yeah, that's what I like. Nice. Okay, if we can get this crystal out, it would be helpful as well. But I, there's just something about these openings at the bottom where I just cannot resist just firing a ball down there. Because if we get that 11 and we get that 6, then all of these, they're just going to come all down at the same time. Which is going to be very, very satisfying. Oh, well, now we're in trouble because now I've messed it up. Go on, keep going. Yes. Oh. No, no. Okay, we need to get this to take out that two. If we don't, we're in. Oh, yes. Nice. Um, what should we do next? Yeah, that was a pretty, an awesome combo. And it, it feels awesome as well when you just see them all fall. Oh, I love it. Um, yeah, I don't know. I think we want to try and at least get these... Okay, we're running out of shots again now, which is a problem. Uh, maybe we can get the ball stuck in there to take out that 10 and then that'll make them all drop. Nope. Oh god, oh god. So... Ah! Yeah, it was clutch, but it's it, that's the that is the difficult part of this game is when you kind of in that situation there where it's like okay I've got bricks all over the place, it kind of yeah it kind of makes you uh, makes you wonder and you can see that right well you can't see because you can't see my mouse but just at the minute at the bottom it was um the 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 call was showing up but we do have five more gems so let's see if we can upgrade. We can, we can go up to 50 shots. So, come on, let's go. This is this is it. We have 50 shots to take out this. Let's go. That's what you want to see. That is what you want to see. 
good. Let's get this right down the bottom there. Okay, good enough. Let's see if we can bounce it off there. Nice. Ideally, I would like that to come a bit further down. Get it stuck in there. That's that's it. There we go. There we go. Let's try and get it under these falls. Uh, not necessarily what I wanted. We've got our extra ball. But this looks. We look. We're doing all right. We're at 21 meters. We've only had a few shots so far, and we are. Bouncing away. Okay, let's try and get some points off that 11. Nice. Oh, that's what you want to see. Did you see that? Did you see that? Get rid of this two, but I, f I think the two is gonna. Oh god. Okay. Well, I was gonna say I think this, I thought I was gonna hit the two on that turn. Obviously that didn't happen. Okay, let's see if we can get that. Yeah, bouncing off there. Nice, 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 nice. Would I like to a bit have a bit more bounce, boys? I would have loved to have had a bit more bounce. Okay. Good. Looks like we're doing pretty well to bounce up off that. Ah, that was unlucky. Okay, we're at 34 meters. Okay, nice, nice, nice. Let's try and get rid of these two. Go on. Yes! Um, I think the best one next to do is probably try and bounce these two together. Have I played One Step From Eden? No, I do want to play it though. It's on one of the possible stream game list. Ha! Ah, stream list. Uh, have you played it, con uh, con Contrarian? Okay, now this is where it's all messed up for me. Ah, oh, I can't believe I missed. Oh, I thought this was the run. I thought this was it. Look how we've still got loads of shots left. Ah! No bueno, no bueno. So we can return to the service. Let's just go back at it. Nope, but uh, it's on my wish list, but I bought a ton of, yeah, me too. With the, the, the sale got me. I'm not close to raging. I'm just disappointed because you see those ones and you're like, ah, oh, they're gonna get hit, they're, they're fine. I don't need to worry about them. And then they're the ones that creep up up to you. And yet, yeah, yeah I, I know what you mean, contrary, like, um. I got, I, well, actually, I had a £25 voucher, eShop voucher left over from Christmas. So I used that to buy... Uh, what did I buy with that? Hmm. What did I buy with that? Oh, I got the Taurist. And then uh, I bought Spyro the Dragon to play with my, my fiancé. A little bit of a nostalgia trip. I know it's not indie. Um, but yeah, so I picked those two up with my vouchers and then... I did the whole the thing where I was like reviewing seven indie games in seven days and picked up a few games with that. But I actually think most of them I got with my gold points, so I didn't spend that much money. And then, um, and then yeah, then I picked up this. This is nine nine euros and ninety nine cent on the on the eShop on the European eShop that is. Um, so yeah, not too expensive. Uh, what do you mean? Oh, like those ex escapist games? No, the tourist is the one where you're on like holiday. Wait, which uh, is also a potential candidate for a stream because um, I think I could probably beat it in like two streams, which would be nice. Yeah, not often, but yeah, sometimes I do play non-indies. Usually, you're going to be even more shocked that I play usually play my non-indies on, on PlayStation. Um, 
but yeah, I kind of had no, I don't know. Spyro is, Spyro is definitely very like nostalgic for me, but I didn't have like any interest to, to really play the, the remakes. That was, that shot was so bad. Until, um, yeah, until it was on the Switch, because I thought, yeah, it, it's, it'd be nice to maybe play with my, my fiance, because I feel she's not really into games at all, but I feel like Spyro is like one of those games. Oh, yes. Now that's what you're looking for. That is the, <laughs> yeah, PlayStation, I know. But yeah, if if I do drift outside of indies, then um, then I'll usually play like a, like uh, I spent a lot of time last year playing Divinity, uh, not Divinity, Destiny Two, um, on PlayStation, and then before that, like I play a lot of shooters because like my my friends from back in England, a lot of those are into kind of looter shooters, and so am I to be honest. So um, yeah, we usually would play a lot of that on the PlayStation. But yeah, other than that though, it's just indies. Indies all day, every day. And last week I had, ah, oh, this run. Chef's Kiss, Magnifique. But we're still only at 35 meters. Which is a little... Ah, I see what's going on. It's like, a, there's like a visual glitch with the game. Sometimes when you look up at the scores, the two will go up into the meters thingy and it'll just say, oh yeah, you only have seven hits left or something. When in, obviously I, I have a lot more than that. Ah, that's what I like, that's what I like. So uh, I want you to bounce off the nine. Yes, yes. Now that's good wood. Okay, then we want the two to get taken out. Nope, well, we want the two to get taken out. It doesn't look like the two has any any wish to be taken out. There we go. Go ahead, hit that one. Yes. Good, then I think we should try and focus on the nine. Uh, yeah, those shots are such a, a waste though. Yeah, it's like now, th now this is where I start thinking, okay, what am I supposed to do here? Because I'm like, I feel like I take the three out, and then maybe the, the 16 and the, and this three will fall. But then I have this eight sitting here, which is poking up, looking at me. I wonder if I can get it to bounce off a bit more. Oh, nah, okay, well, we have to take the eight out now. Oh, one more hit would have been perfect there. That's what we want, something like that. There we go. Okay, 19 is going to be a bit of a problem. That's quite a high number that we have to take out. But maybe we can get some luck. Okay, it looks like we didn't get enough luck that we needed. Okay, that's more like it. Go on, go on, go on, please. Ah, oh, one away, one away. Ah, oh, I can't believe it. 52 meters. Oh, you can't even see now. 52 meters, 39 shots. So we had 11 shots to go. Again, right at the bottom of the screen, if you look under where I play again, is you can see the head of the of this uh, of the core of the the planet peeking up at us. But never, never mind. I think you might be interested in Mr. Driller. What is Mr. Driller? Sell me on it. What is Mr. Driller? Let me just check my phone. See if anyone has anything to say to me. And it doesn't look like it. Oh, I like that you, you got the chef's kiss. Thanks, Kool Aid. What? So yeah, so let's go in one more time. We have five crystals. We need six to get the starting ball. So let's let's try and get one more in. If we don't get it on this one, then hopefully we can get the the new starting ball. And uh, and then hopefully I, I want to at least by the <laughs> yeah you had to clip it yeah I'm glad you did. At least by the end of the stream I want us to have beaten the the asteroid. So. 
So let's go. We mean business. We mean business, boys. Oh, yes. That's what we like to see. That's what we like to see. Okay, that's not bad. We've, we've at least got enough crystals now to, um, to get the extra ball, which I think is going to be a big help. And it's funny because when I played on my Switch, I beat this first level in like five minutes. And now we've been playing for, what, 45 minutes and we're still stuck on it. I guess it was really beginner's luck then and the game knows I'm streaming. So it's like, uh, okay, we're going to make this guy look like an absolute idiot. But I'm having a good time. I hope you guys are having a good time. It's kind of like a nice chilled out night. Friday night after kind of the high tempo hyper parasite. I just wish we beat the first boss. That would have been also a great way to end the first stream. And let let me know as well what you think about this. Like my idea would be to do maybe two games per stream. Timmy and Tony set up hard puzzles to get revenge on you hating them. Yeah, I believe it. And then it's a game where you drill into a cave as well. You dig uh, through all small colored blocks at the same time. You cannot go back up. Try not to get squished under the blocks. All right. So it sounds a bit like a mix of this and um, Dig Dug, maybe? Okay, let's play smart and just get rid of this five. So the game's doing it again where it's making it, and I'm not making excuses, where it's making it difficult to shoot. Where I can't exactly aim where I want to. Okay, that's opened up a nice channel down there. Keep going. Oof, that was squeaky, squeaky bum time there. I thought I was, it was just gonna bounce off everything and this is what we like, this is what we like. Look at them falling, they're falling. Okay, I want you to bounce off there. Oh, lovely. And I think I want you to come off the 15 and get trapped down there and start taking chunks out of that 31, please. Yes, yes. That's how we do it. That's how we do it. You know what? Let's do that again. Let's just try and do that again. Take out the five. Ah. It was announced that during the direct mini. Ah, okay. I'll have to have a look at it after the show. Okay, now we're in trouble. Now we've got an eight here. But if we take out the two... Then the H should fall anyway. Yes, it does. Let's see if we can bounce off the seven. Get the ball stuck in there. We can play this. Oh, I thought we were going to get stuck in like a loop where it was just going to keep going and going and going. That would have been very nice. Nice. Good. We're at 41 meters. We've got some some nice bit of fresh air between us and these next ones. Okay, that was a good good start. Okay, that's not exactly where I wanted it to go, but it could have been worse. That was more what I wanted to do. Uh, could you please bounce off these two? Okay. Uh, oh, come on, please just get out of here. So now the problem is going to be the seven. Yeah, the seven is going to be a big problem for us here. Yeah, I think, well, what I at least want to do is try and get the, this crystal. Which I didn't do, of course. <laughs> okay, but... The good thing is we do have enough to go back to the surface and take a starter ball. Yeah. Oh no, this is what I want. Increase your maximum ball count? No, oh, I want a starter ball. Start each stick with more ball. Hmm. Why can't I get this one? Maybe I have to upgrade this first. Hmm. Okay, well, my plan's all gone to pot now. Hmm. 
Okay. Let's see if that helps. And yeah, for whoever, if, if you're in the chat or if you're watching and haven't done so already, could you please give me a follow? It goes a long way because um, we want to try and reach 50 followers so we can become a Twitch affiliate and then um, then it opens up like all of the, the, the kind of perks of Twitch. So if you haven't followed already, that would be awesome. And yeah, if you like what I'm doing, you can get more of Switch Indie Fix content by going to Twitter at Switch Indie Fix. Uh, you can look us up on Instagram if you're more of an Instagram type of person, also at Switch Indie Fix. Uh, if you want to get to know some more of the community and hang out and, I don't know, talk about indie games, talk about Animal Crossing. Oh. Talk about the stream afterwards, then I suggest you go to Discord by going to switchindiefix.com forward slash Discord. Come on, Adam, we need to concentrate. I don't want to be made to look a total fool of on this stream by not getting past this first level. Oh, go on, take out that two. Nah, I didn't take out the two. So, let's get rid of this three. Okay, good, we've got some clear air. Ah, that shot could have been a bit better. Now this is a bit dangerous, because if you look at all of these, none of them have been held up by anything. What I want to do is try and take out that five. Okay, good. So the five is gone. Can I bounce you off the walls? Animal Crossing isn't indie. Yeah, I know Animal Crossing isn't. isn't. That's actually the big gap I forgot to say when I was uh, when I was talking about games that aren't indie yet. Is I have been playing a lot of Animal Crossing, but in the Discord we talk about everything kind of like pop culture wise, you know video games, all the different types of consoles, indie games, um, yeah, just manga, food, travel, we're kind of like a wide, wide bunch with lots of different interests, so there's definitely something for everyone to like in there. Uh, okay, now we've gone from having And we're out. Oh, I just saved it. I uh, don't know what to do here. Let's just try this. Well, we shouldn't have done that. Okay, what we've got to hope is that this bounces off enough times, goes down, and then bounces back off it. And of course, the game is starting to mess up the controls. Okay, good. That actually turned out not to be such a bad shot. Okay, good. Okay, we seem to be digging ourselves out of the, the grave we dug for ourselves by clearing out some of these. Ah, it's just shots like that where you just think, okay, it's going to bounce off this, it's going to bounce around down there, it's not going to be a problem, and then it just turns out to be like the total opposite. Okay, we need to try and take some out, this nine out a little bit. We kind of also... <laughs> Gave out at a critical time where I was about to lose, I think. Mm. Okay, we may have lived to, to die another day. Let's see. Okay, we need it to hit that free. One more. Come on, you have to hit the free. Ah, oh, yes. Hero. Um, I guess we want to try and hit the one. Okay, now we might be out anywhere. Come on, please. Ah, no, I crashed again. But we have six gems, which is is pretty surprising. Okay, now we can buy more starting balls. Good. 